Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Kent Carp Anglers. We are here at Chart Hill Fisheries uh, on the specimen lake today. So we have tried three times to get onto this lake. Yeah. So we thought it was going to be majorly, majorly popular. Where in fact it's just a smaller specimen lake. So they only allow a certain amount of people on it. That being said, then it's 1.4 acres big. Uh, apparently there's a carp up to 31 pound in here, apparently there's a massive stock in here, so hopefully we'll catch a few. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be trying out Robin Reds and a few other things. I'm going to test out my mainline stuff as usual and hopefully we'll get a few. Yeah. We are on a 24 hour session, so let's hope for the best. Let's see how it goes. So then, catch him alive. There you go. So Ben, what do we have here, mate? My first fish from Chart Hill Fishery. Yeah. Yeah. Decent size. No. <laughs> All right. Okay. So <laughs> not going to last year, no. Right, we're going to leave it at that, that one, yeah. Yeah. We're going to leave there that one, yeah. Yeah. I'll get it out. Have a look. But, Look at that little thing. <laughs> and this thing is a little zoo. Yeah, it is. I've just got to go and find myself a Jake out there. Nice little one. He's in pristine condition. Nothing wrong with him. Yeah, a little common. Nice little common. Start off the special lake. Say, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and oh. the most. Yeah. <laughs> and, the, and the rest. He's just had some food as well. Oh, so yeah. let's put him back and uh, see if we can get some, hopefully, some bigger ones. See it? Ready? Oh, there's a fella. Really? Nice little close up again. Good close up. Is that a better one? The biggest one yet we've had so far. Four or five pound maybe, if that. Not a bad little one, eh? They're getting bigger. And then, just have this little one as well. Nice. Not bad. Let's put them back and catch some more fish. Put them back now, off we go. Wait. So Jake, <laughs> you've just caught one as well, haven't you? Yeah mate, took out one of my lines, but... Mm. Standard. What was that off? This was off a little bit of Robin Red. Yeah? Yeah mate. Um... Robin Red doing well? Robin Red. <laughs> Hey, they're getting bigger. They are, they getting, are getting bigger. bigger. Just got to try and whittle them out a little bit. Yeah. And then, obviously, he's got a little cut in his mouth. Going to put a bit of fish care on him. 
and take them on his way. So you what? Sweet. So guys, I'm using Rum Red squishy pellet things. I was originally using hard pellets and then I changed over to these because like you know it's just, just easy and they did the exact same thing. Um, got it on a simple lead clip system. I'm using a boom system as well. So it kicks my stuff away from the leads most of the time, near enough all the time. Um, apart from that, on my other rig, I am literally just using a simple pop-up PVA bag, um, a little bit of liquid, so it's either um, a port of goo or Robin Red liquid to match it. Um, and then other than that, I'm just using simple halibut pellets. It's nothing too serious and yeah, that's what I've been catching all my stuff off of. Oh, I've got this thing out with you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> anyway, what a night it is. It's just going mad, isn't it? Me and Jake just <laughs> didn't know what to do a second ago. We, it was just went, he went, I went. <laughs> He's reeling the fish. I'm letting it. <laughs> my rod starts going off. He pulls it around to me. My <laughs> rod. <laughs> <laughs> I let go over. I let come back with what I call. He's when my starts going off again. <laughs> right, let's get little two out of the way. Yeah. Nice little commons. Yeah. There is a lot of commons in there. Yeah. Beautiful little things, but I do give up a little bit of fight. Yeah. Got to do it all again. I'm just going to chuck that in here with you. Oh, hi. And this is um, our first mirror carp on here. Yeah. Not a bad li little size. And then we have it. Them three troublemakers just took out all the rods, so we're going to have to do it all again. And hopefully, we get some more tonight. But the fish should just keep coming, don't they? Yeah, I'm going to get these back and try and get them a shy. Yeah. Before it all goes bad again. This is what I've been doing. Been using a bait boat, our new addition to Kent Clark's Banglers. And this is where I've been going. Would you class it as cheating? You would. Okay, well, I'm classing it as if it weren't meant to be, it weren't meant to be. Just bearing in mind, people, yeah? Right. After I'll show you my little spot yep. of what I've got to work with, yep. and I'm still managing to cast into the trees over there. Yep. Ben's just too lazy to do that. Bosh. <laughs> Back it comes. And, to be fair, I didn't go out, did I, on this? Come on, come on. How much paper? Come on. <laughs> I'm not even joking. set you down a minute while I go and rescue this boat and we'll get back to you shortly okay the fish that I caught a second ago as you see on camera how quick it was not a massive fish but just shows that they're feeding I like the bait we're using and is the bait boat worth it again in them prime spots that you can't normally get in what do you reckon did the bait boat save me okay I, I just I just want to add, ladies and gents, boys and girls, everyone who's watching this, he could have cast for that spot. I could do. And I just want to say something else as well, ladies and gents. The reason why you just keep hearing two blinks is because Ben has managed to... I haven't managed to do anything. That is your stuff, and your stuff linked to mine. Do you know what I mean? So, I know when Ben's middle rod's going off, because my receiver goes off. What makes your receivers? Sonic. Sonic gizmos. Maybe... I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Alright, Bert, calm down. But... Right. Yeah, I'll have to make sure this up. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
winning. So you just crumb up a few uh, main, frozen main, main ones cells. I've been these are my go to at the minute, aren't they? Every they time have, they go fishing. They have been for quite a while, mate. I do like them. They're very good. A couple of these crushed up. Nothing too mad. A couple of response pellets. And yes. And that's the other strength. He bought a five kilo bag so he can also feed himself. Exactly. And then the smart cell, also right into the mix. Couple of squirts. Then on the end of my hook, it's just a boilie cut in half. That's it. I had sweet corn in the other one before, didn't I? But ran out. First time. bits in there. Now the bait boat that see. we got. See? Let's see? Look. The bait boat that we got is reasonably priced isn't it? It isn't a thousand pounds is it? No. It was a hundred and forty pounds. Just go to show people you don't need the de dearest gear in the world to sort of yeah. be up there yeah. with the other angles. It still does the same thing, doesn't it? Oh. Yeah, yeah just, just Ben needs to go on a boating license course. Yeah. But yeah, he just plunks it out there. And... It's so, that, it's so accurate, isn't it? Yeah, you got to sort of dry past the spot a little bit and then fling it back. Yeah. I've just been doing the same spot every single time, roughly the same area. Just about there. Turn it around. And hey, presto, done. Put it in cruise control. Well, we used it all last night all day today yes guys so literally we arrived yesterday at about five o'clock ish didn't yeah. start finish till didn't, I didn't actually start fishing till about six half six yeah but it was literally constant from that point onwards so far what do you think of the venue Right there, Jake. Yeah, babe. How are you getting on? All that patience finally came in, bruv. What are you doing? Huh? Oh, dear. Technical difficulty. There we go. What are you doing? Um, so, I adjusted my situation and I was thinking, so I've got a feather over there, I've got you over here, my mm. casting range ain't that massive. Yeah. So, I thought I'd try and do a little bit of surface fishing um haven't Dan Oliver surface fishing yeah, exactly. is that allowed I don't think so mate it's going right over to the bro. but you, the amount of fish we've had is ridiculous isn't it yeah really isn't it all methods are working and you're doing the forbidden look at them all like feeding over there I think someone's cut your hair all right. Oh, cheers, mate. Thank you. Because yeah. well, we don't... You never fly fish, ever. Never. Oh, 
though. Wasn't a bad fight either, to be fair. Right. Oh, come on in, Jake. What we got? Oh, we've got two stunning commas. Commas? Commons. Let's go for that. No. Not bad. No. Nah. Right. Nah, you had yours off the bottom. I oh, decided to go <laughs> surface fishing. That's, you know what, that's that's probably one of the biggest fish we've had. To be fair, we've had fished a lot of fish. We've probably had about 20 fish out yeah. for the last 24 hours. Um, some really small, some okay, and some this size. So, not bad again, JK. Huh, not bad. Right. So guys, we have here been here at Chart Hill Fisheries and to be fair, it's been one amazing trip. Um, Busy. As soon as we got here, it was bites after bites after bites. We both lost quite a few. Yep, definitely lost quite a few. There are some decent ones in there. There are some little ones in there. It's a matter of fact of just <laughs> keep fishing them out really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, just keep going. Even on the surface, Jake had a really good one on the surface. Yeah, um, I lost one on the surface as well. Um, the only tip I can give you there is wait until the sun's out and then just throw yeah. in a couple of dog biscuits and you'll be away. Um, the bait wise, it was main I was using main line and yeah, you were using Robin your, Red. So that's it, price and rise. I think it was uh, forty pound each for twenty four hours. Yeah, it ain't, ain't ain't bad at all. Ain't really, too either. bad. Um, Obviously, they are using the like sort of this lake. They are building a house right next to it. So, if you do to come down here, be like mindful that they are doing some building works here. So, but she said that would hopefully finish next year, didn't she? Yeah, but apart from that, it's been, it's been a nice lake, isn't it? Yeah, it's been it's been all right. It ain't been too bad. But anyway, guys, catch you on the next episode. Tight lines. And just remember, we are active on our Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. So if you've got any questions, anything that you want us to go and review yourselves, drop us a message. Yeah? See you later.